Piece of slime! You ignorant, disgusting blob! You foul, obnoxious mob! I have seen some disgusting crud in my time, but you take the cake! Alrighty. It is snowing. Just three days ago, it was 50 some degrees. And now it's back uh, down to this crazy almost zero. I can see my breath. We came out to uh, start the gopher. It hadn't been run for about a week, so I came out to start it just to uh, keep things a little lubricated up in it, see what was going on. Just been uh, thinking back on all kinds of stuff that gets into my head. I'm thinking back on when I was a kid, the farthest memories that I could remember back. Um, I had the surgery at five years old to remove the first tumors from my body. They took out approximately four pounds of flesh. Uh, it's been a reoccurrence. It's come back and had to been removed again and so forth and now all kinds of other things. But kind of makes me sad for people that I know right now that are going through things and I just know what it's like to be concerned, worried. It's not a fun thing if you feel like you're alone and uh, like I said at five years old you really don't know and right after I had those tumors removed from my leg I, uh, as I was healing from that I was uh, playing on a swing set and uh, it toppled over on top of me in a four inch bolt that was holding part of the frame and swings together, hit me and drove my face into the ground and drove through the top of my head uh, into my brain. And at that time, they didn't know how severe it was. I didn't real, uh, find out how severe it was until after uh, almost going into college and what it had done to my uh, ability to learn in certain ways and the uh, disabilities that it caused. Um, if you look at a hemispherical x-ray of my brain, a side x-ray, you can actually see where the projectile, the bolt went in and carried a bunch of hair and bone fragment debris with it into the corpus callosum of my brain. And it's uh, calcified in there now and there's nothing they can do about it. Um, up until the time I was 16 years of age, the my brain fluid, the sac that covers your brain that keeps it suspended in a small amount of fluid, uh, the brain fluid seeped through my scalp until I was 16 years of age. So it was always a, it was just like a, you know, a runny nose on the top of my head, more or less. No, it sounds gross, but I'm the one that had to go through it. <laughs> and, uh, so that led up through a bunch of problems and stuff. Uh, to my disability, I have, uh, from the brain trauma, I have uh, what's called dyscalculasia. It's a uh, like dyslexia, but with numbers. And uh, that, that's kind of weird. Uh, I didn't find out until I was into college what that was and what my learning disability was because I excelled on so many different levels as far as uh, uh, mechanical ability, mechanical arts, drawing, drafting, design, even engineering, but I couldn't do the math for engineering. I had to do it a totally different way that took me three or four times as long as a normal person to just do the math. I cannot ruminate numbers. Um, I can deal with money in tens, but I can't deal with anything that is uh, uh, the twelves like the American systems. So it uh, just been feeling sad about what I know some people are going through, like Matthew uh, Charrington. Um, his life's been very similar uh, with the lupus and injuries and, you know, all kinds of things. And uh, there's a connection I feel with him, although I've never met him, there's a connection I feel with him and stuff that I can uh, relate to what goes through it. I think maybe that's what drove me after my spinal injury and the disability that I have from unable to be able to work a real job that uh, um, and 
you know, basically doing what I'm doing now for the volunteer service and have been doing for the last 14, 15 years, um, working with people that have uh, issues that don't allow them to uh, get places in life or they feel have hindered them in such a way that they feel less than and there's no way that anybody with any type of disability should ever feel less than another individual. Um, my philosophy in that, as long as you're drawing a breath, you count. Uh, and sometimes those that have passed on, I feel, actually counted for a lot more than what they were allowed to feel. Um, we should never feel down upon ourselves for anything that we've been handed personally myself we just uh, I think we should just continue on and do what we can and uh, take some type of a pleasure in knowing that we are who we are independently uh, and we matter no less than anyone else so I know people may be uh, going to make a bunch of statements or comments about all this and everything but that's the way I was feeling today and uh, I just want everybody to know, um, you know, don't base your existence on uh, what other people say or uh, about you. Um, you know yourself better than anyone else, uh, and that's really all that matters. Uh, do what you can do, uh, and do all that you can do. Don't ever let anyone uh, hand you saying, well, this is all you'll be able to do, so you're, you're not going to equal up to anything. Um, I'm very good at what I do. I have a tremendous amount of wealth of knowledge. My body is deteriorating, um, and some of my mental capacities uh, deteriorating, such as my speech and the ability of my hands to function properly, the uh, non uh, non-dominant hand tremors that I have are probably due to the uh, uh, brain trauma and uh, you know so when I lose the ability of those I'm still worth something even though I was pretty much called worthless my whole life uh, it didn't take until I got to college to find out what was going on and to really know to really know myself and uh, go through that. If it hadn't have been for quite a few professors, I uh, would have never understood. They had tested me for it and explained to me what I had and ways around learning other than normal ways. And it helped me out and uh, I was able to get uh, several degrees. <laughs> I have uh, business degrees. I have associates in science degrees. I have a associates in uh, computer technology, uh, computer language, the logic of computers. Uh, that's how I quantified my math skills and stuff by taking uh, several years of uh, computer logic. Uh, and I, my biggest degree is in, believe it or not, uh, social psychological sciences. I have a double major, a split major in uh, sociology, psychology, uh, and uh, one of the ones that really helps me best is the business degrees that I have, and the, I have a, my a, a bachelor's of specialized study for working with as a liaison between uh, the working force and management, how they can get along, how they can deal with each other, how each can benefit and get what they need. Um, unfortunately, a lot of our businesses don't bring in the guys that would come in uh, at day one and work 30 plus years until they're out as far as retirement. Now it's more like a uh, come in at a higher level, work five years and go on to the next one. So there's not really any need for anybody like me or my training in that particular thing. But it's given me a tremendous insight to uh, other things in my life, especially self-worth, uh, my self-autonomy, self-actualization in society and uh, knowing about me, and uh, I wouldn't trade that for anything. So, like I said, today is just a, a sad day, um, feeling down. Uh, I'm not feeling sorry for any one individual. I'm just sad that people still have to go through these things, but it is a growing experience. Everything we go through adds up to the end, and I do believe our, for myself, my existence in this life is to learn to the end. 
uh, and whatever in that is, don't care. When it comes, don't care. Uh, it, it is what it is. So now that I've uh, put a bummer on all this, but uh, just insights into me, uh, I'd like to wish everybody a good day. And uh, Matthew, um, I hope everything's well. And uh, I hope to be able to see you this uh, spring, summer, buddy. So uh, you all uh, take care. And I will do my thing, finish out my day. See ya!